welcome to our very first edition of Will You Accept This Vlog? So exciting! I know, this is a, was a crazy, crazy finale. Yes, we have a lot to unpack. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, where do we even start? Like, I don't even know where to start. <sighs> There's so much. I have so much to say. Like, I was watching this and I just, I could not believe my eyes. I was, like, my heart was racing the whole time. I was like, I don't, like, when does this stop? I feel, I, honestly, I feel like it still hasn't finished. You know how Chris Harrison kept saying, like, nobody knows how this ends? I truly feel like it still hasn't ended. <laughs> like, there's more, but wait. Well, right, because, I mean, yeah, cool, he's, he and Maddie said that they're gonna give it a try or whatever, but they, but then the whole month. But even happens, that wasn't very clear. Yeah, he was like, like, are they together? I still wanna know, are I, they together? I have no idea. I feel like we, that's what I mean, I feel like it still hasn't ended. So. There's a lot. There's so, a lot. I mean, Monday's kind of when it all started. Met, they met the parents. I almost feel like the first night didn't even matter, though. Yeah. Like, all we took away from that was that, okay, they really, he, re their parents really liked they really Hannah, liked Ann, Hannah Ann, Ann. Which we saw that coming because. Well, and, uh, here's the thing, though. I felt like Hannah Ann said all the right things. She did. I agree Like, with that. she was like, she said all the things that mom wants to hear. She's like, I love your son unconditionally. I'm here for him. Like, she had the perfect answers for everything. Um, and like, I, I don't know, I feel like, well, and oh, here's the thing with Maddie, like even in the mom even said it, like, you know, she, she delayed us three hours or whatever, yes. she made us wait three hours and then she came in and it was all rocky, she didn't even apologize. Which Madison never confirmed or denied. She had a weird comment when, well, when she was asked. The reason why she had a weird comment is because she has a contract and can't flat out say, That's the true. producers <laughs> made me do it. Literally couldn't, did not let me come in for three hours. Here's the thing though, she, she showed up, she had to have the conversation with Peter. I'm sure that took at least an hour because yeah. we saw them like crying, not talking, hugging, talking, like all these things. And then the producers were like, cut, like do this. And then here's a shot here and <laughs> say that again. And, <laughs> And blah, 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 and they did like an interview after for her, an interview after for him, and then they went in to meet the par parents. So yeah, it took three hours, but that was not Maddie's fault, and she did not have to apologize for that. That is true. Now, I do think it's crazy how that all went down. Yes. But so let's, do, so let's go back to night one. Okay. So we meet the parents. Mm -hmm. um, we play with some kangaroos. So cute. So it's cute. The best part of the episode. Best part. <laughs> I almost, I think I texted you. Maybe I texted you. Um, that they, I felt like they were dogs. Yeah, like, yeah. they were like little, they're so, so cute. cute. So cute. But, um, I, and lots of bugs. I, I, even though I love that date, I do feel like Peter should not have gone on it. Correct. Because I feel like he was, trying to, he was trying to convince himself that he wanted to be with Hannah Ann because Maddie was no longer in the picture. But I, I just don't, like, he should not, he did not want to be with Hannah Ann. He was definitely trying to convince himself he was to convince the whole himself. time. Yes, like, and he did not want to be, he didn't, he, he said it. He literally said, I want Ma Maddie more than Hannah Ann. He literally said it in those words. Yikes. And then he went on a date with her and like act, acting like it's all fine. He never told her that Maddie was no longer in the picture. Man, I, I feel I, so bad for Hannah Ann mm, because watching back, watching this all back, yes. who wants to be that girl? No one. No one wants no. to be second choice, runner up. Like, well, and here's the thing. Like, I think I think Peter made just so many mistakes because he, again, he shouldn't have gone on the date. He should never have proposed. Correct. Like yeah. ever, ever. Like no, 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 no. He should have been upfront with her in the beginning. He should have been like, "Hey, Maddie's gone. You're the only one left." I'm like I'm so heartbroken about Maddie leaving, but I do see a shot with her with you maybe. So let's explore this and let's see what happens. But he knew, he hit like I don't want to say he lied to her, but he didn't tell her, which is kind of he, lying he did lie. Like he basically He's, lied. He, lied he was very her. misleading. He, was he may not have misleading. straightforward yeah. said it, but. I also feel like he was Crazy. highly influenced by his parents. I think had his parents been like, oh, we love them both, whatever you decide, then I think when Maddie left, he would have been like, no, like I want you, I want you, I want you, let's make this work or whatever. But he was like, well, my parents want me to pick Hannah Ann, so maybe I should consider picking Hannah Ann. And that whole thing went down. Which is also insane. Yeah, I mean, I was not okay with his mom no. influencing him that much. No. I think, I think I understand mother knows best, whatever, like parents have an opinion, but at the end of the, the day, it's, it's their relationship. For sure. Like it's his relationship with her. He needs to make his own decision. He's a grown man, he's 28 years old. 
Like, he needs to make his own decisions. He was way too influenced by his mom. So many cringe Versi moments with the, with the double box, watching the mom, watching oh, the things, making the God. faces and making the noises and rolling the eyes. And I just sat there and was his like. His mom is so extra. Like, I, I love, I loved her at first. Yes, me too. I, I'm, I'm a little mad at her. No, I'm not oh, gonna lie. Oh, for sure. I think she, yeah, I, I just, I just disagree with everything she did. Even, even at the end there, even last night in the finale, she, she just like went at Maddie. She was like clapping. I was so confused because Hannah was literally like breaking up with Peter and telling yeah. him, "You need to grow she's up. Clapping. You need to be a man. You need to learn how to be a man." And his mom is like, "Yes." And I was like, <laughs> "You know, she's saying that about your son, right?" And then whenever. Peter was like, I'm, I'm in love with Maddie. Like, I love Maddie. Maddie's the girl for me. His mom is like, no. Like, her face. <laughs> I was like, oh, like, don't you want your son to be happy? Isn't that what you want at the end of the day? For sure. If he's saying, I love this person, this person makes me happy, this is who I want to be with. Like, <sighs> as a parent, you just have to be like, okay, you're a grown man. You're making your decision. I accept your decision. Boom. But no. She, no. she had to take the, she went a totally different direction which I never saw that coming. And can we just throw out the dad for a second? Because I felt so bad for him. Oh. I could just tell he wanted to say all the things and he was trying really He really wanted to careful. become invisible. He was kind of like. Yes. <laughs> and they kept looking at, the camera kept going to him and I was like. Oh, I know. <gasps> Where was his brother? I was like. I yeah, that was very weird. I thought he was gonna be there too. But they never said anything about that, but. I will say, so watching that proposal was so Cringeworthy. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen a proposal. Yes. I mean, Hannah, Hannah Brown's was, proposal was very cringeworthy because we knew the whole Jed situation. Yeah. But I think this one was even more cringeworthy because we, we, none of us bought into Hannah and Peter's yeah, relationship. No. Like, nobody, you know, nobody, nobody could have told you. Oh, 100%. He's no, like, like nobody believed that they would end up together. Because she was definitely like the safe option, she right? Safe, I yeah. mean, she was definitely like, oh. Okay, they're I cute. Mean, I mean, maybe she was into him, but to be honest, it never seemed like she was that into him at all. Yeah. yeah, no. So watching the proposal, she's was, cute. She's, I hope. Yeah, yeah, no, she's she, cute. Yeah, she told. Yeah, she, I think she's a great girl. Like she sounds like a great girl. Yeah. But as far as them together, no, it they, was definitely never. Well, you, his connection with Madison was so much more obvious the whole season, like the whole For time. For sure, you from tell. the beginning. Yeah, he. Their was, first, their first date. He took her to meet his home. parents. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I think I, I was watching and I was I just like I think I wrote cringe like yes, cringe yeah. like this is so hard to watch also because we knew that this, this is how this is not how he was gonna end I, yes. because oh. even at the beginning of the episode Chris Harrison is like Neil Lane is here everybody oh my god and I'm like wait why is Neil Lane there if he <laughs> So like, we knew this proposal was not gonna stick, right? right? right. We knew some, so it was so cringe to work. It. it was cringe worthy because even, it was almost like Hannah Ann did not expect it to so come. She was so surprised. She was so surprised. Her face, she did look really good though. I will give her that. She oh, was yeah. really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> on, on both, like, yeah, um, every, every time. Every time, she's a beautiful, she, yeah, she's, beautiful, she's gorgeous. Yeah, yes, she's gorgeous. love her. Um, I, but she, she was so surprised though. She was like, oh my god, you choose me? Like, yeah. I think she literally said something like, you love me? Like, you're right. picking me? Like, it was she, almost like she knew she wasn't going to well, be picked. And that's why she didn't want to go. Like, her son was like, right. hey, Peter, she, she might not be coming. And then he has a meltdown or whatever. Oh, that was and so sad. That, that was, yeah. So and then she's sad. like, okay, I'll come. Like, she was just wasn't expecting, like, she was expecting to be dumped that day. And then she finds out Maddie's been gone all this place. But, I mean, even if, if it was me in a situation and I had, I had just found out that this girl hasn't even been in the equation the past two days, and last night you told me your heart was being pulled in two different directions, Ooh. what's the other direction if there's no me? Because the other girl's not here. So, like, you're not fully sold on me yet. Also, uh, like, send me home. Uh, yeah. If you have questions. And I loved how she stood up to him at, the, at sure. the end, at the final, like, the, the live part, yes. portion of the yes. episode. I, I, I was like, like, yes, yes girl. Like, I was like, <laughs> yes, me. Like, yes. I just, I... I, I, I loved Hannah Ann at that point. Like, yes, I think she gained sure. my respect there. Like, she did. That. Because it, she, I don't know, she just she just stood up for herself. She called him out. She was like, you you took this away from me. You should have never proposed if you weren't 100% sure about me. And I don't know, like, some time has gone by, and maybe she's gotten some insight, mm. right, into what happened. But well, Watching it all back. Exactly. And, and she's probably grown a lot as a person, mm -hmm. having gone through this. I feel really bad though, because I mean she's right. He did take away the first the first opportunity to be proposed to, mm -hmm. um, which obviously every woman is like, 
dreams for that moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, we both there. We're both married. We know. We yeah. get it. We, but we know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. Especially. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah. I, yeah. Having that. You know what I mean? Experiencing that and going through that. Um, especially because she didn't even know. Chris Harrison didn't know if she was gonna come. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah. No. It, 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 yeah. I, I'm with her. I. I I was so mad at Peter for proposing, and I totally understand where she's coming from. For I'm sure. so glad that she stood up to him and told him that, and called him out. I also, I, I think I texted you this. I was like, look at her outfit. Yes. Like, the outfit she wore to yes. break up with him was like so good. Like she knew, Ooh. like she knew what yeah. was going down. Yeah. Like it, 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 also, <laughs> okay. So let's talk about that breakup moment for a second. Yeah. I had no, like I kept waiting. I'm like, okay, are they breaking up with each other? Yeah. What are they saying to each other? Finally, she takes the ring off. It was just very confusing. It was so confusing because I felt like the last time we saw them, they were so happy in right, love, and now right. we see them, and there's there's an issue, but we don't know what the we don't issue know what the issue is. is. She's like, I, you've been telling me, we like, I, I don't know. I feel like we needed to be filled in, filled in on what had happened in that month, mm -hmm. you know. And I kept writing down like, I'm so frustrated. What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? Like, I, there's no clarity. She gave him the ring though, and she was like, <laughs> take it. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, then, and then as she confronted him in in the live portion, I think she, I think she did really well. I, I mean, I, I, even yes. his mom, I was like, why is his mom clapping? I know about her breaking up with him. Like, I was so confused. It was crazy. This whole thing is confusing. So many flashbacks though to Ari's season. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the difference. Different, a little yeah. bit different. Like Peter was nicer than Ari was, and he was really trying, really trying. But I think Peter was nicer because. He didn't know what he wanted. Like I think Ari Maybe. knew what he wanted. Maybe yeah. He knew he didn't want Becca. He wanted Lauren. Right. Peter was like, I want you both. I yeah. want neither of you. Like he does. He didn't. He. I don't think he's, he knows right now what he wants. He wants that's this true. to all. He wants this to go to back be, and yeah. never be the Bachelor. I think that's what he wants. Oh for sure. <laughs> oh. Mike, come on, Mike. Man. Yes, Mike. <laughs> what do you do, Mike? The bachelor. Yes, Mike. Please. <laughs> that would be so great. So then there's the whole Maddie thing. I will say I respect her so much for leaving. When in the first, you know, night one when she left, I have a respect for her because I think she, at that point, she was thinking logically. She was like, there is no way this is gonna work between us. Um, we're, we're way too different. Yeah. Like, you kind of hurt me yeah. with, you know, and we can go about this right. about all day. But I I, in that moment, I respect her for leaving. Yes. Um, and I will say I am glad that she did not come back. Yes. Because she came back, but because basically because Chris Harris. Right. Told if her he had to. not have done that, mm -hmm. she that would, would not have been a thing. I respect her because she was like, I love this guy, but I don't think it's going to work. I, I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Mm -hmm. She was kind of like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And for now, I'm going to leave, type of deal. For sure. But I have so many thoughts about that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I also agree. I respected her a lot for leaving, yeah. too. It, she very, she clearly knew what she wanted, and she said that. She reiterated it again, like, I want to be recognized for a girl who stands up for what I believe mm -hmm. in and never, like, questions uh, questions what I want. But she ultimately <laughs> what did go back. Yeah. Um, but she didn't. She, she went back once she found out that Peter was single, though. Yeah. Like she would have is, never yes. gone back if he had. Yeah. He, like, she was thinking he's probably with an aunt. Like. Right. She she didn't know what right. had happened, so when she found out that okay he is single and he is thinking about me, okay let's 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 go see him, whatever. Wow. I will say, why was Chris Harrison the one going after her? Like, I, I don't like get Chris that Harrison either. Was speaking for Peter. Right. Like, I, did, did Chris Harrison know that Peter? Well, I'm sure I'm he probably assuming. thought that. But, like, I feel like at that point, Peter should have been, like, Ari was the one that went and reached out to Lauren. Right. He's like, I've been thinking about you. We need to talk. Right. Peter never reached out to Madison. I know. <laughs> Why didn't you reach out Why? to Madison? <laughs> I don't, I, that made me really mad because, like, I, I feel like Chris Harrison was, like, doing his, like, Peter's job for him. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I, I, I don't. I didn't so, like the season that much. <laughs> I didn't like the ending. No. Um, it definitely was not what I expected. Definitely the most dramatic ending mm -hmm. of all the seasons that I've seen of The Bachelor because nobody saw this coming. Yeah. I mean, like, I know that they say that every season. They but, do. But this, I, and we this, roll our eyes when they say it every season. Yeah. But this time, it was actually Did you true. notice Chris Harrison didn't say that, though? He kept calling it, like, the most <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> he never said dramatic until, like, last night. The last night. Finally, he was like, it is dramatic, okay? But 
Yeah. But we shouldn't have to say it, right? We should like just, yeah. it should just unfold that yeah. way. I think it was also, like, I think his parents made it more dramatic too. Yes. Uh, like his, his mom was just so extra, like his, her face the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> she had so much to say, let's just say that. I think she had her own like personal camera just like glued to her she just did. for. There was, there was a camera person just for I'm her. I'm sure, yeah. just for and her she reaction. was mic too the whole time. So <laughs> I, I, I didn't see her mic, but like they just, they would just You could tell, yeah. yeah. So. But um, I think, I'll, I will say, like, I liked when she started calling Maddie out, but then I changed my mind because yeah. then it was like the whole, like, you were three hours late, whatever, you needed to apologize to us, and I still disagree with that. I do feel like she was kind of ganging up on her a little bit, she too, because what her. is Madison going to say in that, in that moment? She's on live TV. She's just told the world mm -hmm. that she is still in love with this person yeah. who just broke the heart of the other girl that he proposed to. Yeah. I mean, what is she supposed to do in that moment? I think that Maddie did, and you could tell that she had all the feels. Like, she wanted to say some stuff. She held but herself But she tried back. to hold herself. Yeah, she did what, hold she, herself. At one point, she did snap. She, she and did. And she cut his She was like, well, she was I like, was actually, <laughs> I was like, second. yes. And I agree. And I already clapped at her, too, in that moment. Yes. I agree with her that this is not just Peter's journey to yes. find love. This is hers and Hannah Ann's and like, yes. she, I mean, she said like, I came here and I was looking for a relationship yes. and I, I have one. This is my relationship as much as it is his. For sure. So it's, this is not just about Peter. Like there's two people involved in this yeah. and I 100% agree with her. I do. And that's why I feel like she, like I understand why Barb has to express her feelings and whatever. It's her son, like she has a lot to say, but she, she at this point she just needs to let them let them be like she she needs to stay out of the relationship she at, does. At this point. they need to work on this together and whatever peter decides she needs to support it because that's she's his mom for sure so so many other things happened mm -hmm. during this so it's so much live happened. Here's one thing about the show, right? There's a lot of things you could tell, you wonder like, okay, what did the producers do? Mm -hmm. What did the, the producers say? Okay, Chris Harrison, go find out what Maddie, you know what I mean? Uh, you wonder about all that. And also but Chris Harrison is a producer too in the show, <laughs> so. <laughs> so I'm sure he had all the yeah. thoughts too. Uh, but one thing that we didn't know was gonna happen was all the stuff that's happening in the finale. Right. Like, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna the, do? The live element of exactly. it. Exactly. So that part, I think, is what truly made this so unexpected mm -hmm. and surprising because really nobody knew yeah. where it was going. No, like, no, Chris I kept, didn't know, Peter didn't know. And I feel like something happened every, like, I kept waiting, I was like, my husband and I were watching it together because mm -hmm. he loves it too. He would never admit it, yes, but he loves it too. My husband, no, no, I can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> he respects that I like it, and that's it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, he enjoys it. He enjoys it with me. So I'm like, we're we're laying in bed next to each other, and I keep grabbing his arm because I'm like, what is this? Yeah. What's happening next? So we're like both shook because mm -hmm. each moment is like a new. Uh, the ball drops each. Oh yeah, there was every so time. Many shockers. Yeah. So many shockers. Yeah. I, so, I also feel like I, I'm watching with a, pro, a producer. We're producers. producer brain. Yeah, yeah. So we're watching it with a producer brain, mm -hmm. and I just kept thinking like, this is going way too long. I bet yeah. you the producer is like, oh my god, this is great TV, <laughs> but we're super. What am I supposed time. to do? We're supposed to have Claire as the bachelorette next. Yes. We have no time Which, for that. I think we saw. They're probably her. like rap, but also don't rap. <laughs> Because this is so good, and like we saw Claire for like 35 seconds, but I that's feel okay. So bad because so they cu they cut her like. Hard. Oh yeah, yeah. I bet you they wanted at least 10 minutes with her. They got like five, if that. At least, yeah, like maybe, Min like maybe, maybe four. Five, yeah. I felt, yeah, it was so short. I kept looking at the clock. I'm like, are we gonna see Claire I know, at I all? Like, There's only like three minutes left, <laughs> and where's Claire? Okay, so. so I mean, lots has happened. We are where we are, but now. Now I wonder like where we go from here. So do you think they're so, do you think they're going to last? I have a very hard time answering that question. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really hope, we all hope, we all hope. Uh, that they find love. I don't know if they, if that's with each other. Right. I hope that they, I really hope they find peace in the, the situation for right. themselves. Um, Cause again, we're both married. Mm -hmm. I've been married for almost 10 years now and I will, I don't know a lot, I'm no expert, but I do know that marriage is really, really hard. Oh, yeah. And it's a constant compromise. It's a constant compromise. And they're going into this now already yeah. with mom and dad being like, mm. Well, and here's the thing, I've been in a relationship where his parents didn't approve. Yeah. They were they were really mean to me. Yeah. They fought against us so hard. 
That's and tough. That is so I, tough. I can tell you, as a person who's in the position, it's practically impossible to to get over. Like it's 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 always a fight. It's always a conversation. It's it's incredibly frustrating. So so we have that. So we have the parents. Right. We have. They clearly have a different belief system. Mm. Um, he, I mean, his, even his brother was like, Peter, <laughs> if you end up with her, are you really going to be able to, to go party? To wait, yeah, <laughs> to wait to marriage because you like to get down on dirt. <laughs> like, that's basically what he said. Like, but they, they're very different they people. They are very different, yeah. And it, I, they clearly care about each other. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a lot more than the lovey dovey. Yeah feelings that make it last. I, 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 let me say this. I hope they can make it work. I right. hope that they work out, especially the parenting. That's I mean, a good I mean, way to put it. Yeah. I think the parent thing is going to be the hardest thing for, for sure. them to work through. That's a huge hurdle. If they can get through that, I think they'll make it. But what I've seen of Peter's mom so far, I don't think she's going to budge. Yikes. I don't, I don't think she's going to budge. And yeah, it's not looking good. Because of that reason, I want to say they're not going to last. I, I think they might make it work for a little while, mm -hmm. just because they want to try, and I they've gone them, through so much. I give them six months stops. That's a long time. We'll check That's, back in in six months. <laughs> six That's months is a long time. March, so what's six months? September? September yeah. Okay, so we're, we'll talk. We'll talk in September. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long. That's a long time. Yeah. Um, oh, it can happen in six months. But I just feel like they're not set up for success going into They're this not, no. because the dad okay so the mom said something crazy we one thing we didn't talk about yet yeah. was the mom said something that twitter exploded over what did she, say? she said he has to fail to be oh, successful yeah. barb how do we turn the page and and give this a shot together chris he's gonna have to fail to succeed oh yeah yeah, yeah you're right and I just remember she, looking at my husband being like, did she, this woman really just say this she basically to just her said, son? She basically just said, his friends know this, we know this, like my, my, my other son, my husband and I know this, they're not gonna make it. Like she literally said that flat out, you're right, yeah. My heart kind of dropped for him in that moment because it's like really, I'm, I mean, I'm you are literally glad. on national TV. Right. The world is watching you mm. and this is what you have to say to your son right now. And I'm glad he stood up for her. I'm glad he was like, for mom, sure. like stop, like this is ridiculous, yeah. like, yeah. But I, I, this is gonna be mm, this is gonna be real hard for them. <laughs> they need couple therapy <laughs> like already. ASAP. Already. But that's not a good sign. Like it's not a good people sign. People always say that love is hard, and right. it, it can be. But I don't think it like needs to be this hard. Right. I don't think it should be this. The difficult. experience of it. Uh, so love is not hard. The experience of it is right. hard. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And the dad said it best after the mom said the part about mm -hmm. um, at failing to be a success or whatever. The dad said, you know, this is the part that should be fun. This is the part that should be like easy and exciting and enjoyable, like all yeah. these different things, right? Which is true. It's the true. first part of a relationship is like, phase. exactly, yeah. exactly. They're not experiencing that right now. Right. This is like, right. this is tough. They got right. an uphill climb and I don't know if they can get to the top of that mountain, I guess we'll have to see. but the rocks are already falling off the mountain, like yeah. on them already. So. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, mm. but I wish them the best. I wish them right. the best. Right, I do too. Like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm all uh, here. Here's the thing. We all watch The Bachelor, and some people watch it because they just love the drama, and I love the drama. I but do too. I, the reason why I watch it is for the love story. Absolutely, me too. If there's no me love too. story at the end, I'm like, mm, which there has to been in the past couple. <laughs> I seasons, know. And I'm going crazy. I know. So I feel like we need to just go back to the normal. Yes. Like proposal, yes. they're still happy together, and a year later they get married. Yes. Bring us back, Catherine and Sean. Yes. Love, please. <laughs> yes. So, I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 I was over the season from the beginning. I've, I've been waiting for it to end. Like I, I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry, Peter. I know you're not listening, but, <laughs> but I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't think he did a good job. I was rooting for him too. I, was I really him. wanted him to. I thought he was gonna do it. So good did. Job. Yeah. So did I. But I. I, did I don't too. think he did. I think he was too indecisive. He was. And he kept saying the same thing over again. I'm trying to do what's best for me. And, and it's he, like. I think he was also. He felt pressure from the process, right? Yeah. Like, there's pressure on him to propose. There's pressure. For sure. For, uh, for, like from the producers, they're telling him you need to get engaged at the end of this, right? Right. And of course, you don't have to because Colton didn't. Right. There's been plenty of people who haven't. Plenty. Yeah. But uh, but he felt that pressure, and he he I think he let himself be too pressured. Yeah. So. And ultimately that. Yeah. I, I feel like that was ultimately his downfall and ended, yeah. ended in a failed engagement that... Ugh, that lasted a month. I don't oh, even, that 
was so sad. Yeah, and girl, do not count that thing as an engagement. That yeah. didn't count. Scratch it off the books. It was an yeah. annulment. Yeah. Doesn't even <laughs> count. Go to your next guy. And You're young. You have so many things. So many bright things ahead. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. Oh, she's yes. going to be just fine. I am not worried about Hello. Hannah Ann. She Love. is going to be okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, Anything else? So, so much. I still feel like we didn't even talk about everything. I feel like we just scratched the surface. But we, I mean, yes. it's, you know, we can't But ultimately, it's a lot. It is, yeah. Um, so now moving forward. Yes. Next up is Play. a new show. Oh, yeah. first it's a new right. show, love, which love I I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm, watch it. I'm gonna watch it I'm too. Watch I'm gonna it. give it a shot. Right. But any chance to see Chris Harrison? I'm down. Yes, yes. Am I super excited about it? I don't know. No, I'm not super excited about it, but I, I'm I'm interested. I'm interested. It, Curious. They, they piqued my interest. It, it could be different. Right. It could be I, different. I'm all about The Bachelor, yeah. and I, and it's their same. This is the same mentality. It's the same mansion. It's same Chris mansion. Harrison. Same Chris yeah. Harrison. Yes. It'll be very interesting. Okay. Now I am excited about the next season the of The Bachelorette. Bring on the older guys. Yes. I swear to God, if if this if this doesn't end with like good good old love story. Yes. With a beautiful engagement. Yes. No <laughs> No post filming after filming yes. is done. I feel like we've done this so many times now. I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm ready for the. We're engaged, cut, and yes. we'll see you again in three months. And, and that's if it. anybody needed a chance at redemption, it would be hey, Claire. Because yeah. I, love, I her. love her too. Yeah. I remember her season with Juan Pablo, mm -hmm. who is known to many as being the worst mm -hmm. bachelor ever. <laughs> um, it was horrible it was. what happened to her. And even um, after, like, she had terrible luck in, in Paradise yes, twice. Yes. She did get engaged after uh, Winter Games, yes. but then that failed. That didn't work out so well. She's ready, man. She is ready. Uh, I think she's in it for the right reasons. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, she's done this. At this point, she's got the fame she's going to get. But she's I done just with that. feel like if anybody deserved it, it's her. Yeah. And so. I will be I will say, for her. I will say, like, after the, this whole thing went down with Peter, I was like, man, I kind of would have gotten behind Hannah Ann at this bachelorette. <laughs> yes. Because I just felt like she, she, she deserved, got yeah. done so wrong. Like, Peter did her but so wrong. But she's so young. But she's 23. So young. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, glad, I, I'm glad it wasn't her, but for a brief moment, I was like, man, it would have been good if they gave it to her. It would have yeah. been like a redemption, you know? <laughs> I love Claire. I'm glad. I love her. Claire. She deserves the best. Yeah. I'm rooting for her. I think it's going to be a great season. Yeah. I also think that uh, because the guys are older, they're going to come with a whole different set of issues yeah. that we have not seen before. And so I think that's going to be really interesting, yeah. and I'm excited to see Hopefully how that. we get some people with kids yes. again. It's yes. been, what, since Amanda Stanton? I know. A lot. It's been a while. with kids? Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe that was somebody after that, but that's the last I can remember. Yeah. It's so, been yeah, a while. So, yeah, the kids. I'm ready. Everybody with little cute little babies. <laughs> I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> Running all around. Let's so go. cute. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So We'll see what happens. Well, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right. Well, Th thanks for it. watching. So we'll see you again for The Bachelorette. May 18th is when it premieres. So expect us then.